Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome back to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming. Thank you so much for joining me in Meeple Station today. We will be checking out the third of the tutorial missions, Production. So I will see you guys on the other side of the load screen. All right, we have loaded in, and our friend is back in his military uniform. I'm going to call him the General. So you've come to learn about production. Well, I can teach you, but I can't guarantee you'll remember it. You don't look much brighter than a spanner. Okay, a little insult there. Thank you, I guess. Well, I suppose we should get started. The first thing you need to know is how to view your resources. Let's do that now. So let's head on over to the refine panel and we can see we have quite a few resources. Here you can view all of your current resources and also make production orders. Keep in mind, we only have a limited amount of storage for our resources. If we run out, we need to build more containers. Let's build another large container just to be safe. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go here and it is under furniture and there is the large container. A large container holds 500 objects and we're gonna put that right here. And I think a small container holds 250. Yep, a small container holds 250 items. Up here you saw our total storage. So we got 655 units of material and can store 1,750 units. Looks like our engineer this time is, I couldn't quite get a name, that's okay. That should do it for now. Now let's focus on producing some new materials. Firstly, we have some modules that operate passively such as the rock crusher. How does that happen? A rock crusher will passively crush raw materials in your storage and output various ores and minerals such as iron ore and silicone. We will need some raw materials to get started. To do that, we need a miner. All right, so we're going to go to our meeples, and it looks like Dynamite is going to be our miner with a skill of 13, and there he goes. So he has been assigned the miner. Now, let's send our miner out there to gather some minerals. Move the camera around and find an asteroid. Then all you need to do is left-click on it. So we've got quite a few to choose from, and let's go ahead and... Um, we're going to go ahead and indicate that one. So each asteroid doesn't have the same resources. Uh, let me get through this screen here. Now our miner will go out there and start collecting minerals. Let's move to, on to more complicated production. Yes, please. To produce refined materials, we need a smelter. To produce even greater refined products, we will need a refinery. Both of these are operated by refiners. Yes, refiners use smelters and refineries to produce requested material. How do we order them? We will need to open up our inventory menu again and go ahead and do that. So before we hit the inventory, let's just go ahead and look at these so you guys get to see. So this has quartz and carbon. This one is just all ice. This one has ice and feldspar, ice, feldspar, magnetite. Um, so each of the asteroids will have a little bit of different composition. And eventually you can get an ore detector, which will tell you what the composition is. So this could be 50-50. Um, as we see, combined wrench this is 90%. So it might be 45-45, um, or it could be like 50-40. You just never know. All right, let's go ahead and head over here. To manufacture something, you will need to select a resource from the list and then select amount, minimum, or infinite. What? Amount will make sure that only the quantity you requested is made. Minimum will always keep producing uh, until it reaches that quantity you specified, and infinite will just continuously produce the item. I see. Let's see if you can get our refiners to make something useful, such as electronics or steel. All right, so we need to go ahead and get some electronics going. So we're going to go click on electronics. And let's go ahead and set the minimum at 25. Um, 25, there we go. My number lock was on. And we'll set that at minimum. And then steel, let's just go ahead and set that at infinite. So in order to do minimum, you put the number in and then click minimum. If you want infinite, just go ahead and click right on infinite. So our refiners will come out and start producing, as you can see here. Here is a smelter, and then this is the refiner right there. So we've got two smelters and a refinery, and then this is the rock crusher crushing the rock. Looks like this is a pretty well put together station. Got some oxygen tanks on the bottom with oxygen producers and batteries. Looks like this is our production floor, and then this is the kitchen and dining hall, bathrooms, and living quarters up here, and there's not a fourth floor. You're starting to get the hang of things. Now let's move on to trade. 
If we want to trade, we will need to designate one of our docking clamps for trade. This will allow ships to stop at our station and trade. How do I do that? Select one of the docking clamps and then select Enable Trade. A trade ship should arrive shortly. All right, so why is it flashing down the ladder? It doesn't really matter. So let's click on one of the docking bays and we're gonna click Enable Trade. There's a ship inbound at the moment. When it arrives, you should select it and trade some goods. All right, so here it is. And that's, this other docking clamp, we could construct a ship and use that for ourselves as well. So let's see what this ship has to trade. Looks like they got the basics, early game basics, and we're gonna buy one of their fish, and let's go ahead and buy their electronics. So if you hit shift, you can buy 10 at a time. If you hit control, you could buy or sell uh, 100 at a time, and we can't even sell them all of our silicone. Um, see if we can sell them all of our carbon. So just like that, see how that got rid of all my carbon. So shift is 10 and control is 100. All right, so we did a little bit of trading. Well done. Traders will only bring resources from their faction. Over time, they'll increase what they can bring. They'll pay more for resources they lack and less for as they require more. Uh, there are other ways of manufacturing goods as well. If you're unsure, you can select it in your inventory and read the description. It will tell you where it's made. Ah, Take a look at simple meals. For example, a chef will create simple meals at a kitchen if you request it. Open the inventory menu and set at an infinite order for simple meals. All right, so we kind of already went over that. So simple meals, and we'll set that as infinite. Excellent. That's just about all there is to know about production. I'm sure you'll be able to learn everything else from here on. Yay! That's the end of the tutorial. That means there's only one thing left to do. Meteors? Correct. So long, sucker. All right. So in this mission, we learned how to go ahead and set up our production, get our mining operation going as well. Ooh, that meteor just really destroyed that section right there and is hammering us. Uh, we also did a little bit of trading, which is very, very, very important, as you can see as this other ship rolls on in. Please don't forget to like this video. Comment on down below. Uh, again, both on audio quality, quality, commentary quality, things like that. And both on if you're playing Meeple Station yourself or the other games you're interested in me playing. I would like to keep a rotation of about three games going at a time. So leave me your opinion down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Tooth and Scrubs Gaming so you get this great content on time and in an orderly fashion. Thank you so much for stopping by and we'll see you in the next Meeple Station video.